Hey guys, how's it going? So today's Monday and guess what? That means it's a five list thing. So before we get into the meat of this though, I have a big, huge thank you going out to Grouse Garage. Uh, he helped me do the uh, logo and the new channel banner uh, this past weekend. So big kudos to Grouse. Thank you, dude. Big help. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Grouse Garage, uh, he's teetering on a thousand subs. Uh, if you haven't subbed to him yet, please go check him out and do that. Uh, I'll put the, his uh, channel link down in the description below. But uh, yeah, again, thank you, Growl. Big help. Uh, so with today being a five things list, the list I have for you today is five things you should never do to your car. So the uh, first thing now, these are things that you might, you don't typically want to do them. Uh, you could ruin the dam, finish the, uh, ruin the finish on your car, or damage the paint job, whatever. But uh, the first thing on the list is do your own paint correction job. Unless you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, go ahead and do it. But you can easily ruin the finish of a car or even rip the paint off. So, a lot of common mistakes, though, with uh, doing your own paint correction is people have that one little spot they want to just get just right because there's a chip there, and they don't realize that that chip is all the way down to the metal. And they'll sit there and they'll hold the, the uh, buffer on it, and eventually they'll either A, rip the paint off, or B, burn the paint off. So, one of the two is most likely to happen. Uh, so unless you know what you're doing, just pay the 300 bucks to have a paint correction done and have the coat ceramic, or have the car ceramic coated after that. But uh, yeah, I, that's something I wouldn't do yourself unless you know what you're doing. Uh, number two is go through a touch car wash. Now I have gone through a touch car wash before. I, I just really don't, sometimes I don't get the time to go do my own car wash before a show but you know it's just to get stuck in a situation you have to uh, I try to find one that's a touch list that's on the way to the car show or whatever it is I'm doing but the reason why I say you shouldn't use a touch car wash is because Fred Dick Harry and Joe just went mudding in their Jeeps their trucks and uh, they have all this dirt and rocks and everything uh, they're on it's stuck on the car they're stuck on the truck so they go through they have some rocks stuck in the uh, in the brushes and everything and your car gets scratched and chipped to shit and it's absolutely horrible and you find it and you, it's just looks terrible and you're just like oh, I don't know why I paid 15 bucks to have a car wash done and it ruined my paint job on my car but uh, the next one this is it used to be a common sense thing but too many people have been doing it here lately I've been seeing a lot around uh, Columbus you typically don't want to put a spare tire on the rear or excuse me not on the rear on the front you typically don't want to put a spare tire on the front of your car and that is because your car's direction is being moved by the steering wheel it's the front of the car steering you know the less traction you have up there and the more traction you have at the back the more likely you're gonna fishtail the car so it's just best not to put a spare on the front of a car Uh, number four, you never want to ride on a flat. If you don't know how to change the, your spare or change your wheel out on your car, you don't want to ride on a flat because number one, you will ruin that rim and rims are expensive. And number two, you could really mess up the, uh, the alignment. And then when you get a new tire put on your rim, you're already out 300 bucks you have to get now you have to get an alignment which is another 80 bucks i mean and that's even being cheap about it too 
So just don't write on a flat, and it's not safe. Especially if you have a rear-wheel drive car and uh, power's on the rear. I mean, you're just going to be spinning. Uh, and last but not least, a lot of people don't know this. You can do it in a sticky situation. I wouldn't recommend it. But that is use dish soap on the body of your car regularly. You can use it if you want to get like thick dirt, grime, and grease off of it. Or you want to take the wax job that you can put on off of it. Uh, go ahead and use it. But I would not regularly use dish soap because it's very abrasive. Eventually, it will uh, corrode your, the finish on your car. So, I don't know if you guys have seen those uh, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s cars that have the clear coat coming off. Well, that's because they regularly use this though. Very abrasive stuff, and it'll just destroy the clear coat on your car. Now, guys, that's number five. That's it for today. Thank you for staying if you uh, see the end of this video. Uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I always enjoy your guys' comments. I like interacting with you guys. You guys are wonderful. But, uh, yeah, have a good one.